There's a terrible fish, terrible houses, terrible boats, but I think you get the idea. I could spend hours on this. Could I draw what Abelope does? Okay. Oh God, that's complicated. Uh, ha! Okay. Okay, all right, go for it. I'll start with the t-shirt, Pete. Okay. Okay, and that is time. Pencils down, Justin. <laughs> One, two, three. Amazing. So there you go. This is what Abelobi does. You can see I've drawn the fishing community here. I've drawn the boats out at sea. I've drawn the government interaction for better co-management of fisheries. And I've tried to show the market support that gives a fair return for fisher catch. This is really what Enzo is about. Creating circles that keep us going, reduce the pollution as they last longer, and make them out of materials that basically don't harm our planet. And ultimately, that was the mission of Enzo, simply to make electric cars more successful by extending their range, going further every mile, and reduce the pollution by making the tires last longer, and then bringing the tire back and make it into a tire again. At as far as we take the imperfect, ugly produce from the farmers and dehydrate it to increase the shelf life of the produce, we do it using different types of dehydrators. These are the dehydrators which operate on the principle of convection, conduction and radiation, which is through touch of the black surface by heating the air above it and also through direct contact to the food. Amazing. So today batteries is used to decarbonize the world, but the batteries comes with a lot of underlying problems that we have to solve. So GRST, we take out the toxic chemicals to replace it with greener materials, and also we make it highly recyclable so we can one day stop mining. This can be used in mobile phone to electric vehicles, so all across different applications. And Belterra, we take the greater land from overgrazed pasture on the right of the picture, and we plant native species that will grow as high as possible because they will generate high integrated carbon credits. On top of that, we plant cash crops. We plant cacao, sustainable palm oil, and then additional food crops, banana and cassava. That's the environmental impact. In addition, we have the social impact. As we partner with landowners, we increase their earnings per hectare, and we have a lot of jobs created in some impoverished regions in Brazil, and we have decent working conditions for those workers. That's a full circle environmental and social positive impact. Sea first produces a solution for climate change. It originates from growing of asparagus seaweed. These are long lines on our seaweed farm. This is sort of underwater. This is where it grows seaweed. We then process it into oil. This is a bad version of an animal, cow or sheep. It then, through the feeding of cattle, gets processed into milk or dairy or wool. It then lands up in the retail store, either as a beef, dairy or wool product. And the consumer now is paying a premium for a more sustainable choice. So it really originates all the way from the source, all the way through the supply chain to the end consumer. How's that? Beautiful. There we go. So what we've got here is we've got a t-shirt going into the process. It gets separated here in the hydrothermal process. And then the cellulose goes out here and gets made into a fluff pulp. And then this gets made into lyosol fiber, and that can be woven back into fabric and go back into t-shirts or into any other clothes. This was my mess. And then we go into the liquid fraction, it gets made into polyester, and that polyester can be made back into filament or yarn, and that can also go back into the textile supply chain. We are Cirque, and, and this is our solution. Minus this mess over here. <laughs>